Hello everyone, Adi Ashire here. Uh, today I'd like to invite you into a project that I've been working on for a few months. Uh, this is a play by Don Powell uh, about the music and life of Cole Porter. The project is done in stages. I finished the arrangements and from there we went to tracking the rhythm section and then the percussion and the jazz horns, which are the uh, saxes, trumpets, and trombones. We have a long list of players to uh, still record. We're going to come back to the studio at some point and record the, uh, uh, horn, the, the French horns, the strings, harp, and woodwinds. As the arranger and producer of the project, I also get to do the editing. Even though I'm not the engineer of the project, I'm the one that really knows the charts in and out. So I'm going to tackle some of these uh, parts and uh, try to do some cleaning here. So uh, first of all, let's look at that session. I'm using a digital performer for DAW. And um, what I'm gonna be playing for you right now has the live players along with the virtual parts that still have to be recorded and a little bit of uh, Don's uh, guide vocals so you'll get to hear um, what the arrangement is about. And then we're gonna dial in to the uh, horn parts and uh, clean up some of the tracks. So here's what it sounds like. One, two, three. My life was simple. I didn't stand a chance. I thought that I would relish a tomb like General Grant's. But now I feel so swellish. No else of Max relish that I'm giving a dance. I feel like a million dollars. I feel simply out of sight. So come on down, come on down, I'm throwing a ball tonight. I'm full of old paprika, I'm loaded with dynamite. So come on down, come on down, I'm throwing a ball tonight. I've arranged a Roomba contest just to make the party chic. And the winning ones will get two tons of Luxe Pond, Teal, Squibs, Mum, Zip, and Campbell I invited Johnny Walker. And Hag and Hag, I asked twice. But to all my bids, to all those kids, they wired back no dice. And I bet feel like a million dollars. I feel this out of sight. So come on down, come on down. I'm throwing a ball tonight. I'm full of old paprika. I'm loaded with dynamite. So come on down. We're going to turn off all the virtual stuff and the vocals and we're going to go to the sequence window and zero in to the horns and see if there are areas that we want to tighten a little bit. The tracks are alto 1, alto 2, tenor, berry and a stereo mix of the area where the saxes were sitting. Same for the trumpets 1, 2 and 3 and stereo mix then trombones one two and three the third one is bass trombone and then a stereo i don't know how much use we're going to get for those stereo uh, tracks because they were in close proximity and there's a lot of bleed from one section to the next so here are all the live elements one two one two three <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop here and look at the hits in bar five and bar seven. Let's just solo them for a second. That's pretty tight. The second one has a little phlegm that can be tightened. 
It looks like trumpet one and trumpet three are a little behind. I'm going to take the lead trumpet and the third trumpet and slide them back into the section. So this hit, yeah, it's a little better. We're gonna go with this. I'm gonna play this section one more time. Some of the saxes are rushing here um, from a certain point. I see that the second alto is a little late, so I'm going to just slide it back into the beat and fade it slightly. Let's see if this is a little tighter now. The very last note can be a little tighter here. Let's listen to this. Okay, that's pretty good. Listen to the section by itself and check if it's a, a balancing issue or something is off. It's off. The last note of the baritone is a little late. I'm going to slide it back a little bit and and it seems like the altos are good. I think the tenor is a little early here. We're going to cut this section and slide it ahead a little bit. Okay, let's do the fade leading into this. Okay, so we got this section. Feel like this section was a little late. right here and they were pretty consistent they played together but a little behind the beat so we're gonna slide them back into the beat or close to the beat a lot better okay right here check the trumpets first hit second okay the second wasn't together let's take the second trumpet and move it closer This one is a little longer and early. So we're going to do two things to it. We're going to place it where we want it and then make it shorter. So when they play together, it sounds better. Let's reevaluate this section one more time. Okay, here too, we have a second trumpet that was longer and early. By the way, when I just chop it and put a little fade, notice? Let's see what the third sounds like. Now the third is a little late here, so let's 
place it right and chop it a little bit. Here's the whole section. That's pretty good. Okay, bring back the saxes. Since the berry is by himself here and is a little late, I'm going to edit the entire saxophone section and place it right on the beat, actually. This is, by the way, played to a click, so you can see the bar lines and, and beats. So here is the whole section. It's a lot better, and we want a little more of you, so let's give him a little more gain. For now, I'll put 5 dB. Yeah. So here's the section edited. Okay. Another thing I notice is the bass trombone anchors right in the bridge. Here's the first time. And here's the second time. A lot more secure. Since he's the only one that plays there, I'm going to grab the entire horn section and we want it right on the beat. Clean it up a little bit, place it right and go right into the next note. Okay, we want to group everybody and do the fade. Check this. Okay, we're gonna look at this section. I think it's pretty clean. The saxes might be a little behind here. Let's tighten those a little bit. It might also need to be checked individually. Here's the lead alto, second alto, but the tenor may be late here. Let's listen to this together. That's late too. Let's bring it ahead and tighten that. I'm going to double check this before I sign off. I think the section is tighter. Okay, let's check this fourth beat on this measure. The trombones were pretty good on time for the most part, and then we have trumpet one and trumpet two that are a little late. I'm going to slide them back into the beat. The chord was a little tighter that way. There's some disagreement between the rhythm section and the horns here. I'm going to solo the horns and they seem pretty together to me, so I'm going to have to deal with the rhythm section later. Okay, right in this section. This is late. And 
and this is like it's better okay this is pretty good we're gonna listen to the edited version put all the elements back together and see if this got us any closer to the goal one two one two my life was simply hell. I didn't stand a chance I thought that I would relish a tomb like General Grant's but now I feel so swellish so Elsa Maxwellish that I I feel like a million dollars. I feel simply out of sight. So come on down, come on down. I'm throwing a ball tonight. I'm full of old paprika. I'm loaded with dynamite. So come on down, come on down. I'm throwing a ball tonight. I've arranged a Roomba contest just to make the party cheap. And the winning ones will get two tons of lux, ponds, teal, squibs, mum, zip, and gamble for me. I invited Johnny Walker and Hagen Hag, I asked twice. But to all of my bids, every one of those kids wired back no dice. And so I feel like a million dollars. I feel simply out of sight. So come on down, come on down, I'm throwing a ball tonight. I'm full of old So come on down, come on down, come on down, come on down. I'm feeling magnific, I'm throwing a terrific ball tonight. Well, this is the process I take with such projects. I hope this inspires you to write some great music and that you find this information helpful. I'd like this to also inspire you to get inside the production side of things and have something to do with the quality of your project. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in future projects. Thanks.